Hi, this video shows us how to create an incident in BMC Remedy AR system by using a template. Now if you go into Development Studio, there's something very important. The first time you start Developer Studio, for each of the Remedy applications, you need to load the workflow called Set Version Flag. Execute this any, every time you start Developer Studio, so the Remedy workflows understand what version you are going to use. If the module is activated in the grid, then the schedule on the module will take care of this. In my development studio, I created a workflow to integrate change, incident and task management to set the version flags for all of these free applications, since I'm using them frequently. Start the application. Next is we are going to verify our setting for incident management. Remember we had a custom template. Here we are going to verify that the template name is properly set because we leverage this one in the workflows. I'm going to verify that I can actually create an incident with that template or see that template show up when I um, open up Incident Management Console. You can see my template can be selected and I can actually create an incident. But we want to test that further within HM Orchestrator to automate this whole process. As you can see, we have some preparation for our future use case, the BMC Impact Management Integration. We set that properly. And then I have a custom workflow copied from setup validation of the incident management module. First, I'm looking up the template details, query the user that we're going to use, and then create that incident. Let's execute that workflow and see what happens. If you provide a computer system ID, this will be automatically added and relationships will be created in Remedy 8.1. In the version 7.6, an additional workflow needs to be executed to relate CIs. The out-of-the-box modules provide the capabilities for 7.6 and 8.1 environments. If you use the service name, it will be added to the service plus field. As you can see here, all the red flags mean it's a mandatory field. If it's not red flagged, then it's optional. And here we can see workflow is executing in our process log we see the information and in the context window we see the incident being listed here and have an incident number 